Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Queen and Middle School for Life, produced in association with Academia University TV, a project of Academia University, open and free education and knowledge. Academia University TV and Hawaii Tea House TV are a part of Cyborg Alpha TV Network. Experimental TV. Well, it's five minutes to five. So four hours and 55 minutes into the day. Uh, into the, uh, I think the 22nd day. No, the 21st day uh, of uh, December. Was yesterday was the 21st. Somebody just check this to make sure. Yeah, no, that's it. That's what I'm saying it. Monday, Monday was the 20th, Tuesday is the 21st, it's the longest day of the year, and once again we're finishing at 5 o'clock in the morning before, I tra for, before I'm transferring uh, back to the, um, the uh, sleep research desk, the, uh, the other realm, uh, to go exploring in there. Uh, it was a pretty good day, I uh, sort of had a chance to do... A YouTube show and being more productive with my other devices uh, on not necessarily organizing those but taking new notes down in terms of some of the possible directions that I might be going in uh, come February in terms of where the research is going to go uh, and these are just new opportunities new things to sort of test out test posts on Twitter uh, and also on uh, on with QLARP, trying to move forward with QLARP a little bit more. Uh, in order to move forward with QLARP and as a, as a, a live action role play based in reality, just like Davos says, uh, well, Davos is it, 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 it pretends to be doing good for the world. The Davos solution, much like the uh, the LARPs that are done by most socialists. Uh, end up killing people. They find that it's okay to kill people as long as it meets your end goal. Uh, I don't, I, I strong, I'm anti establishment, but I strongly disagree with killing people to achieve your ends or your goals. It needs to be done peacefully. I mean, I've, I've stated this almost, almost entirely, uh, as an anti establishment. That the reason why I don't like government, the right, I don't like authority is because they end up killing people. There's no reason to kill people, but they don't seem the the ones who are doing Davos, the ones who are doing uh, 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 um, uh, the the UN LARPs, uh, a large chunk of the programs at the UN, including climate change. They're all they're all basically uh, uh, live action role play. They're all scenarios. Uh, none of it's really real in terms of that they're working on computer models, uh, but they all have a don't have a problem with killing people. I do. Uh, I don't believe in violence. I don't believe that violence should be used to meet meet your goals uh, or, or ideals in terms of... I don't think that's how you get a better world. But that's just kind of me. And <laughs> uh, my thing is, is, is watching watching YouTube, people say, well, why don't you watch regular TV? Because I don't find crime of any form, particularly when it's violent crime, violent crime I don't find crime to be entertaining. I don't think the problems of the world today is entertainment. I don't find it amusing to watch. But other people do. Other people watch, you know, oh, oh look, look at what happened to that person. Oh, you know, they watch these good cop shows and, they, and or the detective shows where they sort of find the murder at the end. At the end, but that's not for me. In terms of reality TV, I like watching the the. Uh, the, the, the younger YouTubers, they're watching and trying to achieve their goals, be happier in life, and, you know, their existence. And it's, it, it's a much better perspective and it's significantly less violent uh, than uh, what you get in the regular fair. So this is where my avenue is. Anyways, I am getting tired. Did too much today. Even though I didn't intend to, I did. And the bed is calling me, so I am now falling asleep. While we're here for a pit stop, it is 9 hours and 46 minutes. 
<coughs> into the 21st day of uh, 2021. And we're ending our pit stop. We're heading our way back to bed. Right now it was a... Uh, we did uh, two hours of Kim Possible. Well, an hour of Kim Possible. Uh, two episodes. And I was just sort of popped in my mind as to, on, on in terms of the YouTube stroll. Uh, and Carly produced another video. Doing this on a weekly basis, or, you know, if not more. So she's paying her bill. She's doing, if you go her job. She's doing, you know, what happens? She's finding a way to turn to turn some of these ads. She's doing these promotional videos into something that's more, you know, particularly for her target audience. Uh, it's interesting. It's it, it, it. She finds it is not. It's not a cut and dry ad. It's not simply uh, here's this product, buy it type of thing. It's, it's more along the lines of people who like watching the shopping channel and there is a demonstration of the various different products that you may wish to purchase. You know, So this provides is sort of an entertaining way to sell things. Uh, it's kind of like you know the Super Bowl ads. If you have a Super Bowl ad, uh, these you know, they're interesting whether you're going to buy the product or not. It's interesting to sort of see uh, uh, the sort of uh, the entertainment value of these particular ads. Uh, speaking of which, <coughs> the person who surprised me is, 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 is doing an excellent job at vlogging is uh, Brinley Rich. Uh, it's our life, and her vlogging style is absolutely amazing. Uh, she flubs it a little bit. She but she does, she doesn't eliminate. She doesn't remove the mistakes. She keeps the mistakes in there. And but the mu what what I found unusual was the music. She's doing sort of a, a laid back jazz type of thing uh, as her mu soundtrack. Uh, and I just you know is significantly different. And, and it, even though her 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 family has filmed the same things. The perspective is sufficiently different that it gives you some some aspect of their life that was not necessarily captured by the parents in terms of how they edited things and you know you know and, and what they put into their own vlogs. Uh, the, the the dad who's now doing most a large chunk of the editing puts in a lot of hip hop stuff and a lot of you know uh, you know funky jazz type of bits. Where Brinley tends to be more on. This is what you would call a person who would have a mature uh, palette for music where uh, they have a larger repertoire uh, uh, of the different types, the different genres of music. And this could easily be said about Brindley Rich. She has this more mature uh, musical palette than, than the average person her age, or even older people typically. Uh, most people are typically top 40. They very, rarely ever venture outside of the top forty into other areas like, like some of this you know laid back uh, jazz. So some of the sort of it, it's the 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 jazz that she's do, bringing in gives the whole vlog an overtone of well, it's hard to really place it. It's not an up tempo or up style club, but rather more something more. A lines of a gritty blues club or gritty uh, uh, sort of type of jazz, almost like a like a street level jazz. Uh, so it's got that sort of edge to it. So it's 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 not refined, but at the same time, it's it's not it's not uh, it's not uh, well common or, or top forty. Anyway, so I think I'm going to leave this here for now. Uh, that's my bit for the YouTube stroll and. And so everyone else is doing, uh, you know, uh, vlogmas. They're doing the Christmas stuff, and uh, Brinley was filming the uh, uh, her uh, cheerleading competition. So uh, I think that's going to be it for now. I will uh, see you probably later on tonight when I get back in. Uh, so that will be the next. Uh, that will be the next transition uh, point. 
and possibly the beginning of the next day. Akatima University, go beyond standard knowledge. Well, it's just about a 5 p.m. start to the day. It is uh, 16 hours and 54 minutes into the, I'm pretty sure it's going to, well, the 21st day. From the 21st day of uh, December. <laughs> uh, this is where the problem comes in. You, if you're going to bed multiple times and waking up multiple times, uh, you think uh, the time you went to bed well, after you've woken up was the day before. Uh, well, not necessarily, so. Anyways, we're going to plot along for another day. Uh, see what we get done. Uh, I've got more work to do in the music room. There's upgrades going on in the music room right now. Uh, I'm slowly getting caught up on the work so that I can film in more places. But uh, there's still a fair amount to do. So, as I said, vlogging the day, vlogging the transitions points as, ma as, many, as much as I possibly can. I don't go anywhere. I really don't do, in terms of the exciting things to see, I don't do much uh, so that where I can vlog, you know, like other vloggers who so who will walk around and take you doing whatever they need to do. Uh, I don't have that uh, ability, because a lot of times the, you can't do things one-handed. A lot of vloggers try to do things one-handed. One and it doesn't work out. Uh, I do have uh, tripods I could use, uh, but they're not necessarily in working condition. As the, as the place is always in flux, it's always changing. Sometimes it's difficult to keep the uh, the tripod handy enough to actually sit down and do the work. So, uh, that's sort of going to be on the list of things to do for the Christmas break. To fix up the, uh, uh, the various different uh, filming areas and uh, maybe get more of that in there. So, anyways, uh, people are still freaking out. The uh, panic is still here, and well, we will see what happens next. Well, it is four oh eight into the twenty second. Four hours and twenty. Four hours and eight minutes into the 22nd day of December 2021. And it's been an uneventful day. We're on our uh, break once again. This is our weekend. This, uh, the weekends are filled with uh, activity. Uh, too much, actually. So I will end up going uh, over uh, my physical limit and burning out. So basically Wednesdays is my burnout day. It's... A pullback in the amount of work that gets done, so uh, that's how we end up where we are here. Uh, got done watching the YouTube stroll. I really do enjoy the YouTube stroll. Uh, the Yowie vlogs took me to Hawaii, so I'm able to see uh, parts of Hawaii that I've never seen before. Because uh, I went with, uh, <laughs> I travel with the vloggers. As, as the vloggers travel, I get to see what's going on, and so. Uh, this was a part of Hawaii that I really hadn't seen before, so uh, I kind of recognized the area that was as North Shore, uh, where they kind of are, and uh, the re re Leroy's are oh. I going to a cabin for Christmas and watched uh, our family nest uh, do uh, a. Uh, do their thing. Uh, they were playing games. They were playing uh, Trivial Pursuit, the 2010 to 2020 edition. So I, I do really enjoy myself. That's how uh, that's how uh, I have my fun. This is my my TV, if you will, and so I'm happy with it. Uh, but now I notice that the uh, conversation is here. It's kind of strained. Uh, and it has to do with uh, the fatigue levels that are sort of setting in. So I'm going to leave this here, and I'll probably come back in a couple hours and for a pit stop and continue on with the day. It's going to be an oscillating day today. Up and down. Sleep for a bit. Awake for a bit. 
uh, asleep for a bit, awake for a bit. So that's the way things look like they're they're shaping up, shaping up. Well, it is 18 hours and 23 minutes into the 22nd day of December, uh, or well into Vlogmas. Now, my Vlogmas is going to continue because there's a lot of Christmas in the early Christian tradition. Uh, so, that's where I am at, and so, uh, Vlogmas will continue basically until, uh, just about February 1st, so. That will be the season of Vlogmas. Uh, the thing is, we vlog every day anyway, just so it's just going to be an extra title. Ooh. Uh, an extra piece to the title. And as I'm just getting going, dreams are a very bizarre thing. Uh, they've shifted again. Dreams often present the, the a lot of times when you think you've conquered something, you think you've dealt with an emotion. Uh, it presents itself in a new way, uh, in a different scenario, in a different uh, sort of situation. And this is what dreams are. They're basically situations with, that you're plucked, you're, that you're dropped into, and how the dream emerges, how it evolves, often depends on what your emotions are, how you deal with the emotions that you're feeling at that particular point in time. So, it, 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 it is something that you can actually work on while you're awake. Uh, I was talking to uh, someone last night, a uh, late night call, and people get themselves into these situations without necessarily understanding why situations are occurring, but they do anyways, and uh, when things go wrong, and they, in other words, not the way they expect it or what they want, they get very upset, very uh, uh, oh, very so upset, very angry, and you have to do a significant amount of discussion uh, in order to bring the person down to a more calm level. That doesn't necessarily mean it's not going to flare up again, it just means that, you know, these things are more complex, these are things that are beyond the control of the individual person, uh, but it also underscores the need for uh, a continual maintenance on our mental health, and as we were talking about, you know, we will talk about mental health, well, okay, yeah, mental health. Uh, mental health is basically your psychological health. The psychological health is the, the health of the, the psyche, the soul. It's time to talk specifically about the soul. Psihi, psihi or liya, uh, that's a, that psychology is study of the soul, or listening to the soul. Uh, and that's what that is. Uh, even though they don't directly recognize the soul, or, or, or call it the soul, uh, the word psihi, or uh, the psych part of psychology, means to means the soul. So it is uh, uh, spiritually... Oh. Direct and while we do take we, we in many cases we take pains to make sure our body is physically fit. Uh, we do very little in order to make sure our spirit is not it is physically fit as well. In other words, you want to make sure that your mental health, your 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 spiritual uh, uh, existence, is a healthy one. You don't want to do things that are detrimental to your soul, just the way you don't want to do things that are detr detrimental to your to your body. You know, it's, it's the same functionality, anyways. And and, and, and so there, it does need to be atten an attention does need to be paid to uh, your spiritual needs as well as your physical needs. But most people don't do this. There isn't a sort of a spiritual awareness. It's typically one of, well, I want to feel good. So there is more of a sort of a uh, self, uh, I should put it, a self awareness in terms of you're the only person in the universe. More, more of a, a sort of an a, a conceited, a an arrogant attitude where. The situation of our spiritual uh, existence is more egotistical, more selfish than anything else. 
And a person who is selfish never considers anything else but themselves. They don't consider how somebody else is feeling or how someone else might be feeling. They only consider their particular needs and their particular wants. And nothing else really matters. Uh, and there's this type of person who gets themselves into a lot of problems and a lot of times they get very angry because, well, you, more often than not, you're not going to get what you want. You, you have to struggle for almost everything that you want. There is always that going to be that struggle there. I mean, and, you know, there's always going to be that struggle there. Athletes who achieve Olympic gold, you know, the, the, why does an athlete train the way they do? They look, they see how these ones who are going for Olympics and stuff like that, who, you know, for gymnastics or whatever, you see how hard they work. I see uh, choreographers who work 12-hour days, uh, and their success rate is good, but the thing is, it's also their, you, just, you can see how they struggle. It's not an easy thing to do. But for those people, that struggle is worth it to get to the goals that they want to achieve. And so they're willing to put up with the struggles, the pain, the, 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 the disappointments in order to achieve what they want to achieve. Uh, the same understanding needs to be understood. The same understanding needs to be applied, uh, to your spiritual life. That there is going to need to be struggle. It's not always going to be, you know, a bed of roses or, 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 you know, something that is pleasant. It's not always going to be a party. And you're going to have to deal with the emotions, even the, more particularly the negative emotions, to whatever degree you can. Because we can't get it done, I mean, we can't do everything. We, we can only do it to a certain approximation and then work from there. I mean, that's what we see in the world today. Most of the world, what we're seeing today is basically a panic. It's fear. It's, the fear is our biggest issue. Next to the ego, fear is the next big one. And the news does this all the time. It works on fear. It sells fear. Uh, and don't forget news is, is basically their company. They're selling information. What are they selling? They're selling fear. And they make their money on fear. The more people are afraid, are afraid the more they're going to watch the news and pay attention to what's going on. And the uh, more airtime they're going to be able to sell and so they're going to make more money. So uh, this is this is this is the condition that's going on. This is what we're currently living in terms of our spiritual condition. And as I said before, the observation of laws was, oh, we're talking about politics. No, we're talking about behavior. We're talking, talking about how people react to a particular situation that's going on. And from there, you can sort of take that observation and draw whatever conclusions you want to draw from it. I have my conclusions, but I don't necessarily state them, but uh, there are conclusions that can be drawn in terms of what you've seen so far. In other words, and you can understand you're drawing your conclusions. They're not absolute. They're, uh, they're again, approximate. Uh, because you're only, you're only making the conclusions based on the part that you've seen, that you've observed. If there's, as more observation comes in, you may end up changing your conclusions. Uh, so, anyways, uh, I'm going on to the YouTube show right now. I'm going to get started and start my uh, next round of meditation. Uh, and then we will sort of go from there on out. Alright, I'll see you in the next transition. Well, unbeknownst to me, uh, as I went to check the front door uh, to lock everything up and sort of uh, uh, put the uh, insulation back on there to keep the heat in, it is 21 hours and 6 minutes into the uh, 22nd day, and found a package there. So, there's a package open. So, let's get into this. I really don't know what it is, what it could be. Ah, uh, I see what this is. Okay, okay. A little stuck here, but anyway, so let's just let's snip. I always have a hard time getting these packages open because the way they're, I'm happy for this. It, it's packaged very well. And it is uh, one of these uh, USB blenders. Here it is here. This is what's come in. I'm very happy for that. It's going to go in my drink place, so 
I'll be able to make sure I have the right drinks uh, properly mixed up and everything. And, uh, this will go a long way to uh, getting that done. So I'll put it away and uh, we'll see what comes in this week. So I'm expecting two more packages this week. So uh, should be fun. Produced in association with Academia University TV, a project of Academia University. Open and free education and knowledge. Academia University TV and Hawaii Tea House TV are a part of Cyborg Alpha TV Network. Experimental TV. We are Cyborg Alpha. Infinite Tween and Middle School for Life.